Welcome to Streaming Deluxe presented by Mr. Orange. My name is Mr. Orange and I play today and we are escape room game guys. So the game is called Nefrosa. It's developed and published by Gexacon VR, released in December 2017 and has like uh, 45 uh, reviews. Uh, all of them are mostly positive. So. Nerora is an escape room game with horror and action elements where you are trying to find your way out of, uh, of a laboratory through solving puzzles while being locked in with a strange creature, mystical machines, old family curse and various endings depending on your ways of play. So guys, yeah, you see me playing this game, so very funny, James Joyce, Karl Marx, Heidegger, so very sophisticated, uh, philosophical, interesting uh, developer, who, uh, who you see has actually really some nice uh, uh, general knowledge in the background. So I'm, I'm accelerating some parts of the video to, just to, to show you my, uh, my, my the, the problems I had actually to find the real solution. So Nevora is, is a pretty difficult escape room puzzle game. So so be beware of this first of all. But on the other hand, what I really like the the, the graphics, the the resolution uh, is is it's crystal clear. It's really sharp. So even on my HTC wife, the first generation wife, it was already very very nicely sharp. What I don't like uh, in this game, and I'm saying it directly, is it has no um let's say let's say uh that the play space so it, it the, for the room scale it needs much too much play space and my my play area is not was not big enough in my personal opinion to really uh profit from from the whole game so it's it's maybe really a game for people with a with some some uh let's say some huge uh some 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 huge room, some big uh, play space, or even for commercial uh, 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 VR as escape arcade escape, so it's uh, so called. So what what all exists? In. But yeah, the game is really nice, and uh, I have to say I I enjoyed it uh, a lot. So it was. The, 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 the riddles, the puzzles were so difficult, I really wanted to solve them and I was kind of annoyed that I couldn't find out. And every time I found a little part that helped me to solve the puzzle, I was so happy and uh, really looking forward to to play it some more. So yeah, what are the developers writing on Steam? So they write that the uh, requires play area is at least of two meters uh, on uh, 1.5 meters. I would say it actually needed a bit more uh, because I have like, uh, I have actually liked this and I had the impression that something was missing for me. So the game costs at the moment 12 years 49. I received it for free as a little disclaimer, but this has no impact on my opinion of the game. So overall, I recommend the game for people that like uh, very pretty uh, mysterious escape room games. If you don't like escape room games, then you're not going to like this game either. So so no reason to, to check it out, maybe. So guys, yeah, and then, uh, ah, okay, there's also a free Nevrosa Prelude you can download uh, for free on Steam, that's also cool. Gexacon VR, who are those developers? So they develop actually already quite some some games, uh, or Ultimate Booster Experience, uh, then this Nevrosa Prelude, Q-Bike Cyberpunk, Motorcycle Game, okay, this looks also nice, so... So yeah, not so new, new to the market, but not so new to the market. So as I said, graphics and the style is very cool, very nice. It's like 1900 uh, Germany. Uh, I don't know if those, if this stuff there is also, uh, if it's actually translated into English too. Those those papers where uh, was, where where some 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 hints were written in German. So I have no idea. Since I speak German, it's. Uh, has not been a problem for me but uh, I don't know if this is also translated in English so so what is about the game total immersion redirect walking locomotion rede redesigned for natural walking inside your chaper chaperone bound symphonic soundtrack with position sound system to dive further into Nevrosa world 
unique gameplay combining puzzle action horror elements of an intuitive narrative, art deco inspired environment filled with creepy puzzle machines and dangerous mist world in the mirrors to explore, evil artifact in your hands while it follows you. Does it whisper something or it's just in your head? Differing endings to decide how the nightmare ends. And as I said, there is a demo available. So what are people on Steam actually saying to this game? Let's check out uh, some of those 45 reviews. So EXO positive review write the best most innovative VR escape room puzzle experience hands down. No teleporting or artificial locomotion. Room scale put to full use in the most ingenious and creative way I have ever experienced and it fits perfectly with the law which provides full immersion. So far so good, just over an hour in and still lots to explore, writes Orpsodorzoppa. I really love the use of room scale in this game, the puzzles like the original free game we are great strike balance fun frustration, don't understand what he writes. Uh, Heathen writes, Nervosa Escape was essentially my first Escape the Room game, so I can't compare or contrast it with the siblings in its genre. What I can say though it's, is that I had a great time, playtime with what I think is each ending was a little under two hours. Then uh, he continues, admittedly I'm a sucker for the themes involved and I honestly didn't find the game extremely frightening. It was intense without being extreme. I usually enjoy things towards extreme and I had a good time. Okay, very extreme person, so... <laughs> So Terry Fold Flap writes, what a wonderf wonderful piece of art. This is somewhat like a chair in a room, but in Victorian steampunk style. It's not a horror shocker game, but Nevorza will play with your synopsis good. Imagine your head clamped in a vice and a wise of progr rise and progression in this game tightens it slowly. Feels like a weird surreal nightmare. Amazing atmosphere, good graphics, nice room scale and a lot of love for detail. The puzzles are just right. Really one of the better titles out there for VR. Check out the free demo prelude. It gives you uh, gives you a good idea. Only downside, there seems to be no safe feature and that makes it a bit annoying. You have to go through everything over and over again. The puzzles are randomized, so you have to start at zero again. Okay, I, I only started one time playing it, so you see it here. So I'm, I'm sorry for my mouse that is on the screen, so I was actually messing this up. So I hope you, you're not getting too much annoyed by it. Uh, negative, Teapot te writes, the game is spectacular, but I have one huge problem with it. It's extremely short. For 20 years I was expecting something different. There are four different endings and I don't think I have skipped anything. But to be honest, I took my, it, it took me less than 30 minutes to finish it for the first time. So he's a really smart, smart, smart guy to, to, uh, to finish it so quickly because I was actually even uh, playing 30 minutes and I was not by far not there. Uh, uh, achieving to end this game so but I'm also not good in VR escape room games I have to admit this guy so then I just played the last chapter to get the other three endings I have to say I'm disappointed teapot writes JD writes also negative review I really do like this game but at the current state I would not be able to recommend it graphically it's great the world is interesting creepy the puzzles overall are good there are two big problems right now though bugs and savings the saving system apparently saves once per chapter after four hours of attempts for for various reasons I've still not passed chapter one. This means every time I want to try again I'm replaying everything over and over again so you do learn it maybe. <laughs> I've played through chapter one at least five times now. This really needs a huge improvement whether it's it's being implemented color and then uh, let's check the developer was responding. Hey, what are those three bugs you have met in Nervosa? The first save is just after 15-20 minutes of the game. Special cartridges appear in your apartments that teleport you to other chapters. We are rolling out small updates every week. So hope you try it again and maybe change your review. So yeah. So yeah, I also had a bug. I had a bug in the, in the end of the game. So uh, I think there was some of this... Uh, how, you, how you call them in English, a Zahnräder in German. So uh, one of those uh, clockwork uh, mechanisms uh, uh, where it just 
falling from 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 the from the mechanism so and i lost them and i couldn't find it anymore and i could not uh, stick them then together anymore i think i could not actually finish the game there because i was looking everywhere and the monster was attacking me constantly and you're going to see this in some minutes all right all right so but overall i think people like it and there seems to be some one one buck or another so i also experienced one but i think that's not the issue so it's still a, a very very interesting made game with a lot of love and uh, you can see they they developed uh, put a lot of efforts in it and um, good start good start well made well made i like it so so VR focus rides, a solid escape room experience with great attention to detail and challenging puzzles. The VR soldier rides, it's not easy to recreate an escape room experience in VR, but Nervosa certainly checks all of the right boxes. So yeah, also the press is very happy. So everyone is happy. So it seems to be a good game. And now, yeah, I'm leaving you here with this last part of my video. So it's very creepy in my personal opinion. So. I was like, oh, what the heck is going on there? So <laughs> look at this dude. Oh my god, that's so creepy. So yeah. So but that's where I also them got stuck, to be honest. So, I'm trying. I'm going to play it again. I'm going to try to figure out the all the puzzles. I think I really have to, since since uh, yeah, since it's fun. So. Yeah, I'm leaving it here, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.